Okay, here's the tip, and then I'm going to back up and tell you why I think it's important. The tip. Be absolutely crystal clear in your own mind about the difference between leadership and management and make sure the people around you are also crystal clear about that difference. Now, let me back up. Management is fundamentally a set of processes, uh, the most core of which are planning, budgeting, organizing, staffing, controlling, and problem solving. And what management does is to take a system, an organization of people and technology, and make it function the way it was designed to function, producing a good or a service on time, on budget, um, absolutely the way it was designed to work. What leadership is, is it's uh, a set of processes involving creating a vision of the future and a strategy for getting there for communicating that out to people in a way that gets them to buy into it, and then creating an environment that motivates those people, that inspires those people to want to make that vision a reality. And what leadership does is it creates, in a sense, the systems that managers manage, or it takes them and it changes them in some fundamental ways to adapt to changes outside an organization, uh, to grab opportunities, to duck hazards, uh, to raise standards. Both are obviously very important. But if you don't get it clear what each is, you run into these problems. Here's the most typical. All of a sudden, something happens in a company's environment. Basically, the most common is the speed of change goes up. And somebody notices this, and it starts affecting, for example, their financials. And they come back, and they say, we've got to do something about this. And one aspect is, clearly, we need more and better leadership at the top or at the top and right below the top. And those people really try hard to beat away at that, but they think that management is leadership. So what they work at is the planning stuff, the budgeting stuff, the organizing stuff. And at a certain point, you can literally become overmanaged and underled. And it's almost impossible, unless you've got a monopoly, to be overmanaged and underled and do well in the kind of world that we're living in today. I see it in performance appraisal forms. People are trying, the leadership word is coming up more. There it is in the performance appraisal. And I look at the items underneath it, half of them are management items. So because of the lack of clarity, as they try to cram that into the system, into succession, succession planning into um, recruiting, what they're in reality doing is promoting more people who are good at management, bringing in more talent that has management potential, not leadership potential. And they're not solving the real leadership problem that can help them deal with this increasingly turbulent, changing environment. You got to understand the differences, and the people around you need to understand them. And if you don't, you get yourself into trouble.